Hello everyone, welcome back to Wondershare Recoverit, which is a data recovery tool that is specifically designed to help users retrieve accidentally deleted files from their smartphones, computers, and various other digital devices. Once again, we're back with another exciting episode, and today's video is going to be slightly different. Let me kickstart by asking you a simple question. Have you ever used a camera? Of course, if you're living in the 21st century, the answer will be a resounding yes. Every day, millions of people are clicking billions of pictures and sharing them across different platforms on the internet. But have you ever wondered how a camera actually works? How is it capable of capturing a moment and preserving it for centuries? Behind that simple click that you hear when you take a picture, there are a lot of electronic chips that work together to create a visual representation of a particular moment. So, in this episode, we're going to dive deeper into the workings of a digital camera and understand how photography works. But before that, make sure to subscribe to Wondershare Recover It so you never miss out on any future updates. Now, to understand the workings of a camera, you first have to understand how the human eye is seeing an object. The objects that we see are actually light that is traveling from a light source, such as, say, the sun, and it reflects off an object and then it enters our eye. And a digital camera works in a very similar way. The reflected light is traveling into the camera rather than our eye. Now the first cameras were as big as an entire room and they had a tiny hole on one of the walls and when the light passed through that small hole it would be reflected into an image upside down on the opposing wall. Now these were called pinhole cameras. In modern day cameras, however, things have changed somewhat. Today's cameras are able of capturing images in a much less ambient light. The new age digital cameras have a feature called ISO, which artificially brightens an image by turning up the signal that is being captured by the sensor. In short, even if you're standing in a very low light environment, you can simply increase your ISO and get a brighter image. But keep in mind though that the higher you go with your ISO, the more pixelated your image will become. That's why photographers can be extremely cautious with how far they adjust the ISO for a given shot. Okay, now coming into the technical part about the workings of a camera. If you've ever used a digital camera, you will know the camera body and the camera sensor can do nothing without a lens. The lens is responsible for accumulating all of the light into a single point in the camera, known as the sensor. The lens is dedicated glass that redirects all of the light to the right point so that everything appears in focus and the image doesn't look distorted. Of course, the more expensive of a lens you choose, generally the better the quality and the more detail within your pictures. But it's also important to point out that the lens is responsible for zooming in and zooming out on an object. You know, let's say you want to take a picture of a subject that is relatively far away from you. In that case, you can simply zoom the lens in and make the object appear bigger very quickly. The farther away that the lens is from the sensor, then the closer the object will appear in the picture. That's a basic principle of every lens available on the market. However, there are still several other factors, such as the focal length range, the autofocus capabilities, and the quality of glass that will decide the overall quality of the image and the price of the lens itself. At this point, you already know how a lens accumulates the light onto a camera sensor, but the real question is, how is the sensor converting those light rays into a digital image? Well, a sensor has millions of small pixels, which are either red, green, or blue in color. Now, when the light falls on these pixels, they generate a small electrical charge. And then the microprocessor in the camera will read all of the charges for each pixel and assign a digital value to them. The greater the charge, the brighter the pixel, the weaker the charge, the darker the pixel. So while it only takes a fraction of a second for a camera to produce an image, there is a lot of processing that goes on in the background. So that is the basics of how a digital camera works. But before we conclude this video, let's quickly take a look at some of the basic tips that will help you use your camera in the right way. If you're an absolute beginner and you've purchased a camera for the very first time, the automatic mode can be a very ideal companion for you. If you set the camera into automatic, then it will automatically configure the various settings to try and produce the best picture for you. Now, in case you want to experiment with the manual mode, there are three settings that you can change. 
shutter, aperture and ISO. Now, each will alter the brightness of an image, but they also impact the look of a picture in their own individual way. So experiment with these different settings to see the range of effects that you can create. Now, if you're using a, a semi-automatic mode, you can also use something called exposure compensation, which is sometimes marked as EV comp on your camera. Now, this will allow you to force the camera to under or overexpose your image to a certain amount in the event that the camera's idea of how bright it thinks the image should be is different than what you want. And that is everything that you need to know about the basic workings of a digital camera. If you look at the history of cameras, it's quite noticeable that digital cameras have undergone a great transformation in recent years, but the working principle of all cameras is still the same. Capture light converted to an image. Once again, thank you for tuning in to today's episode. If you found it helpful, then don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below, and make sure to click subscribe so that you never miss out on any future updates.